Reporter News 8's Kent Pierce is live in Cozy Beach with more. Kent. And Christian, Chris, it seems that East Haven was, if not the hardest hit, certainly among the top of the towns hit the hardest by Irene when it came ashore yesterday. And you're looking at some of the places that were hit the worst. Take a look down this driveway here at some of the damage. These are houses that were right on the beach, took the brunt of the force of the storm and collapsed as a result of it. Collapsed, washed away. You got it all down here. We just got a briefing from East Haven's mayor who says there are in total 25, at least 25 houses that are either destroyed or were so badly damaged in the storm that they will have to be torn down immediately. The whole area is under an evacuation order still. Everybody was told to get out of here yesterday. Just about everybody did, thankfully. And that kind of devastation is why they were ordered to evacuate. That evacuation order is going to be lifted at 10 a.m. People are going to be allowed to come back to their homes, even if there isn't a home to come back to. Uh, the mayor of East Haven telling us that uh, she realizes there is a grieving process that needs to get started, not grieving for people. There's no loss of life here in East Haven, but grieving for homes and for all the memories in those homes that have been destroyed by the storm. So 10 a.m. people are going to be allowed back down here. Right now, Cozy Beach Avenue, which is right about where the camera is, is closed down. So are the streets, the side streets that lead down to Cozy Beach Avenue. Uh, everything around here affected in some way or another. The high water mark way inland, another block away from the beach from where we are. Uh, obviously, it's a big mess. It still needs to be cleaned up. And there are plenty of houses that still need to be inspected. Houses are very close together down here at the beach. And so if one house is knocked off its pilings, it could fall onto another house so you've got to inspect all of these very carefully to make sure there isn't further damage that could be prevented so a lot of work yet to do but people will be allowed back into this area starting at 10 a.m live in the cozy beach section of east haven i'm kent pierce news 8.